is no one treatment. There is no one wig. There is no one method. Gotta go with the flow. Gotta evolve. Keep moving forward. There's no other alternative for me than to move forward because I'm not going back. I'm not going back to living a dead existence because of my hair loss. Hey everybody, I'm going to be in the car for a second. So I wanted to make this video. Um, and this, if you haven't seen, I'm now taping down pieces of the lace in the front uh, because it, the lifting, it has a lifting issue and it was getting to the point where it got to the point where I couldn't wear it comfortably because it's so noticeable. So I made a video on that. It's on YouTube um, and I posted about it last week. But I wanted to talk to you guys about doing whatever it is needed for you to move through uh, hair loss in your way. Meaning, I don't think there is any one way for every single person on the planet. I am a, this. I feel very strongly about this. There is no one treatment. There is no one wig. There is no one method. My method has been to, you know, cut all of my hair off to a very, very short cut. It's like basically shaved in the back. And actually last year I cut the sides as well. And um, I do PRP that helps me feel better, you know, about retaining more of my hair, as much hair as possible, even though it is progressive, it's still falling out, um, getting worse every year and wear wigs. That is what I do to um, live with hair loss. And I wear beanie caps when I work out um, in between, as you guys have seen, those are all the things that I do in my life to make hair loss work in my life. And I think that's so individual and unique to all of us. Like my path, my anything that I do with anything is just what I have found to work for me. And I don't want people to get so focused that, you know, oh, I need to have, you know, like the wigs that I wear, they work for me. They work for other people too, but they don't work for everybody. Not everybody loves this brand um, and it's for them. Some people think it's too much hair. Some people don't think it's enough hair. Um, everybody has very unique needs um, specific to them with what they need to do. And um, I think honoring that when we're moving through this is so important and realizing that we have to be a little bit flexible. I've had to continue to be flexible throughout this entire process, even after where I officially say I would be, uh, where acceptance began, I should say, where acceptance began like in 2012, my hair loss began in 99, 1999, I started wearing wigs in 2012, and that certainly was a catalyst towards moving through, you know, acceptance. I've had to continue to be flexible. I've learned that nothing is going to be perfect. I've learned that my wigs as much of a perfectionist as I am. There are many things that are out of my control. Um, I work with it the best that I can to the best of my ability. Um, my hair continues to fall out. I continue to cut more off. Um, I, you know, my lace was lifting on this, so I had to move on to tacking it down until I can get a lace replacement on it. So being flexible through this, and I'm telling you this as somebody that is like, a very inflexible person. I like things to be so exact. I see the cracks in everything. Um, it is not a wonderful trait to have when you are dealing with hair loss and you are wearing wigs. But if I can do it, I know that a lot of people can do it. And wigs are not for everybody. And that's an important thing to understand as well. Just because it was for me and some other people, it may not be, it may not be for you. Um, there are other things that you can do. And, you know, looking back actually, there are things that I probably would have done uh, sooner in my life. Sooner in my life, I would have cut my hair, actually to the haircut that I cut it when I started wearing wigs or what it evolved to, kind of the cut that I got. Because cutting my hair off allowed me to feel more free with not having to see as much of the fall as I was seeing, which was is, is one of the most debilitating aspects of hair loss to me, is actually visually seeing the fall. Cutting it off make, made the hair look thicker, for one, made it look like more of a choice, even though it's only a choice by virtue of this is the cut that I need to use to work with my hair loss. Um, and also I may have used like um, Topic or Dermatch when I felt uh, insecure about my widening part or the thinning areas. Um, I think that I would have started wearing toppers sooner than I would have started wearing wigs um, at a point where it would have been a viable option for me. By the time I went to go get a wig, my hair 
was, you know, probably visually to many people, they would have been like, that's like, you could totally wear a topper at that point. But it, you have to realize that like, I don't know how to explain it other than the circumference, like a certain amount of hair in a certain region was not sufficient to sustain the clip. And it hurt a lot. And, you know, nowadays I see that people work around that by maybe, you know, getting a bigger base and taping lower where there's more hair, there's topper grips, there's all of that. But even with the traditional method of a topper, um, had I started wearing something like five years before, um, my hair loss, again, my hair loss was started in 1999. I didn't start wearing wigs until 2012. Had I, had I started wearing toppers like five years prior to my life, in my life, I feel like it would have really made my life a lot more comfortable, a lot, lot easier. Even if I wasn't wearing toppers full time, again, I've never worn a topper, but you know, just knowing what, the, what it provides by seeing it and understanding it, um, I wouldn't have had so much, you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, insecurity about doing things or going places and overhead lighting. Um, it could have provided that, that comfort and security in those situations. Again, even if I wasn't wearing it full time, um, I wish I would have definitely started sooner. Uh, that's the only probably regret for myself of wearing hair. But that's because I have found peace in wearing hair. Um, I've also found that it can be very frustrating and it's not always going to be easy. I think that when people sometimes see me wearing wigs, they think like, oh, well, that's it. I can just wear a wig and boom, pop it on my head and it's going to be fine. But it is fine for a lot of people. There's a learning curve to it. They can be frustrating. Um, it's not it's not all just, you know, rainbows and sunshine. But I will say that for myself, there's no bad wig situation that has ever trumped what, you know, feeling hostage to my hair loss. And I feel like wigs have liberated from me that front liberated me from that. Um, so as frustrating as they can be at times, and they can as coming into the situation here where I don't feel like I should have to tack this down with, with tape, but I am. Um, so like, I'm not like totally pleased with it, but you know, got to go with the flow, got to evolve and, um, keep moving forward. There's no other alternative for me than to move forward because I'm not going back. I'm not going back to living, um, you know, a dead existence because of my hair loss. So if I keep chopping more off, I keep chopping more off. Um, whatever I have to do with my wigs, I do with my wigs. It is never going to be 100% probably anybody's dream because I know people just want their hair back. Of course, I would love that too. But when that's no longer an option. Changing, reframing things for yourself about working with what is and working with it being okay, not being perfect. Talking from somebody that expects a lot of things, specific things to need to be exact. Let me tell you, it can be done. It can be done. And I was also somebody that believed I would never accept anything less than all of my hair coming back. And I did. And I do. So that was a long video to say, keep moving forward. Don't give up on you. If you want to wear wigs and it's just not working out right now, like keep working with it. Um, if you don't want to wear wigs, not for everybody. If you're like, Hey, this sucks. Um, that it's totally fine. It's just not for everybody. There's no one thing. And yeah. Okay guys, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.